Good morning. Today's maths lesson is moving on to division and we're looking at how we can divide efficiently. So not using a formal short method, but using what we already know. To begin with, we need to become familiar with our three new pieces of vocabulary. Dividend, divisor and quotient. OK, so each time you're writing your equation, familiarise yourself with those words. Dividend, divisor and quotient. So in this little video, we're just going to go over two strategies that you might use when dividing efficiently. OK, there'll be more strategies that you explore, but today's lesson isn't about using a formal method. It's about using what you know. So if we take one of the calculations from the Let's Explore, we've got 2400 divided by four. Straight away, we should spot that 24 divided by four is a known fact there. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. That gives me a quotient of 6. Well, I want to slowly work up to that becoming 2,400. So I might move to 240 divided by 4. Well, I've made my dividend 10 times larger. And because my divisor stayed the same, my quotient has been made 10 times larger again. But then I'm going to keep going because I've got 24 made 10 times larger, I'm going to make that 10 times larger again to 2,400 divided by 4. And my quotient needs to be made 10 times larger too. So I've got 2,400 divided by 4 is equal to 600. I've started by using my known facts and then multiplied by 10. This equation, oh, this equation uses a slightly different method. So this still uses what we know, but it might get us there a little bit quicker because we're using what we know about our multiples of 12. So, for example, what I don't want us to do is count up in our 12s until we get to 312. We also can't look at 31 and think, what do I, is that a multiple of 12 or 310? It's not doesn't feel as um, I suppose familiar and we don't feel as confident with, as to whether it is a multiple of 12. So what we can do is use what we do know works. So let's go 12 times by 12 is 144. We want to get as close as we can to 312. So we're getting our quotient bigger and bigger. That would give me 12 12s. So it's still not quite close enough. So maybe we could double it. If we double 144, that's like multiplying 12 by 24. Because here we had 12 12s. We're having another 12 12s now. So I've got 144 doubled, which is 288. So far, I've used 24 12s and I'm getting much closer. If I now look at how many, what is the difference between 288 and 312, I can see that there's a difference of two 12s, which would get me to 312. So I've used 24 12s here Add another two gets me to a total of 26 twelves, all by using this comfortable fact here that 12 times 12 is equal to 144. Now, as you go through the Let's Explore, you'll be able to re repeat these two strategies in your own methods. But then you've also got two other questions. See if either of those strategies work for those two. Is there another strategy you could use each time using known facts, what you already know? OK, this will set us in really good stead for when we move on to using a formal method, because we'll be confident with our multiples and we'll be confident on how to divide larger numbers. OK, good luck, everybody.